and attack. Send in reinforcements, they die instantly, we're good. Go ahead and head back to Novgorod. Okay, I gotta get a cannon in each of these armies, so... Build me a cannon. Build me a cannon. Mainly because it's just too vital to have those... Having a cannon in those armies. Come on, we're getting really close. I'm going to try to save up all the money I can because I don't think it costs that much. See, can't do that yet. Can I demand Diplo finally from you? Yes. Fine, we'll go ahead and do this. Eh, that's actually a lot of money. A lot of Diplo points. Increase it down here. There we go. Yeah, I keep thinking that I should probably buy the Dharma DLC, but I don't know yet. But, um, yeah, before that stupid rebellion happened, then I got distracted again. Um, I ended up doing that. Um, found out that, oh, I think I forget how long it was, maybe like maybe a half hour drive north of that. I found out that they had the Eisenhower Museum. Nice museum. Always liked the Space Age stuff. Especially since Fallout, since Fallout's been doing stuff, and I've always been intrigued by all the different, uh, stuff that went on in that game. Because they don't really talk about the space explorations or anything in that game too much, which is kind of weird. Ooh. I want the admin. I can live without them. Give me him again. Institutions must spread. Because I've always been pretty intrigued with how that game plays out. Because it's like, you hear a little bit about it, but then it's like, oh yeah, space, space exploration just ends. And magically enough, everybody's like, yay, and let's go to war, let's kill each other, fun stuff. But I don't know, I always, space stuff's always fun to look up on. Because the museum was pretty nice, they had like a little video for it explaining everything that went on, things like that. It was pretty fun to watch. Is spreading up in the north. Sweden? God damn it. Although there wasn't really too much in the form of like getting like memorabilia to bring home from it. Um, they did have some like cups and stuff that I kind of liked. So I went ahead and bought like I think one or two different cups for it. But there really wasn't too much I liked overall. But I will say, going to the Air Force Museum, my god, I fell in love with stuff there. You get inside some of the planes, the B-29, Immaculate, fell in love with it instantly. You could see the um, Memphis Bell, that was a nice thing to see. Um, I just love the World War II stuff, it's just, I'm a nutcase for that stuff. Uh, I'll take the Prestige. Although my biggest regret when I was in Gettysburg, as I the place I went to, they did have some German stuff there. However, it was a little expensive, so I ended up not buying it. They had German helmets. Very intrigued, almost got it, but didn't do it. Oh, let's see. I lose army professionalism, low command power modifier, treason against Muscovy. We'll deal with it. Well, at least the income gap's been fixed for the most part. Come on, spread quicker. We need it now. Let's see, wait a minute. If I dump one, two, I can spend two more into that. And that'll help it go faster. Eh, I don't care. Because that'll increase it by three. Yes, that's good. I'll get her in a Regency Council for a while. Oh, Queen Regent. So I'm going to be stuck 10 years with this crazy lady. Well, I guess it's not bad. She's theoretically better than what my guy is, this guy is still. Because that's 10 points in comparison to 5, 7, 9. Eh, well, it's just spread out more. Uh, 
Oh man. Oh yes. Crap. Forgot. Let's do it. <laughs> Oral marriages, they're awesome. Ooh. Ooh, money. I like money, but I also like diplo. And trade efficiency. Hmm. We'll do the money. Cause that'll help my investments. And then what I can do now is bring the forts, put them all back up, put the army back on standby, and we're all set and ready to go. So what I was saying was I was going to get rid of an infantry unit of each army. And then dump two cannons. Two cannons. And there we go. Now we're set up and ready to go. Hopefully this spreads here quicker now, because now it's at 1.02, so it's always getting a percentage point every month. And then hopefully that means I've saved up a fair bit of money and I can get this new thing in. So that's why that's the other thing that's holding me back. It's a 43% increase. So once that's away, I think this should go up enough to where I'm either very close to it or I should be getting the new tech. You're not getting military access, screw you, Great Horde. You don't even need it. Oh, the Queen died. Oh, I still can't embrace it. Screw you, game. How fast is it spreading here now? 0.5. How's it in Moskva? Spreading rather, rather quick. I got dump more points into it though. And then once that's done, we'll see where the institution's at for cost. Because then I'll probably just turn off the fourth. I'll probably just lower my army maintenance again just to get it up. Well, actually, let's go ahead and do that now. Cause I, I'm not kidding you, I gotta get this institution done before 1500 because if that next one kicks in, it's just gonna increase the cost again, and I gotta get as many Diplo um, techs in as humanly possible before that happens. The one up here is getting done rather quick. It says 1499 is when it's gonna be done. This one's gonna be done here next year. The only bad thing playing not in like Central or Western Europe, you don't get any of the techs early. You're just subject to wait until they spread to you. Because for them, they can get it like when it's like maybe 20%. At the latest, like some of these guys can, they can get like 20%, maybe 30% at most. Other people like me, stuck all the way out in the east, I don't get that option. Oh yes, embrace. Tech up. Tech up. Tech up. It says Pass Uniformity Act. Not too concerned because we still can't do anything religiously to these people yet. Let's see, where's this at? Go ahead and do Kazan again. To issue the embargo. Oh, I can do more states? Nice. Not enough money. Not enough. 0 0.15. 0 0.19. Australia makes sense. All right, let's go down and speed through real quick. So that'd be a 0 0.05 income, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 
0.13, and that's just with one province. 2.108. Ooh, Novgorod is itself. Ooh, big income boost. Alright, that's not bad. So, Novgorod will get cored first, just to increase it. I demand military support. Grant the monopoly charters just so they're happy. I know I won't get anything from it. Then seek clergy support and then demand more admin. Because that'll give me more of these. Let's see, next one we'll get is... I'll go for the expensive ones first. No, I want costs. There we go. Alright. And then we'll let the income rise up a little bit. And then army maintenance. Alright. So let's go ahead and get these guys next. Covert axe. Go ahead and do it. Yes. Stating those also helped us a fair bit. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, I gotta still pay that one loan back, so that's actually gonna be a problem still. Crap. And it'll work out in the end, who cares. I gotta get rid of this Regency Council, that's gonna be the problem. I won't be able to declare war until they're gone. Also, since you guys are back, go down here and help them. And then, let's see... Um, um, um. There we go. That's good. Now, I'm still thinking of other plans, so seems like we might have a neutral no war agreement a little bit for the Danes. They still got their personal union, that's still to their advantage. But I think me adding those additional forts up through here kind of quieted them down a little bit, because now they're suddenly not nearly as, uh, Rebellious to kill me. So that's a good thing. Eh. So that's good there. I gotta start annexing some of these guys too. I just need to get the Diplo points up at the moment. Because there's still two techs behind. Text behind on that. Could annex somebody that would increase my prestige. Just a question of whom. Probably make most sense to is annex these guys. Probably would. I get rid of Piskov off the border, but they're good. They're a good breaker against the uh, Danes over in the Baltics. Probably absorb the inner territories. I don't think I really need them anymore there. So well, you guys go there and you guys go down here. And we'll do that. I can be I'm fine with losing a little bit of prestige. I think I might absorb these guys. So let's go back to speed four. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Thirty. And then we get twenty six one done. So as soon as I can get that last claim in, I'm going to put a claim on these guys' land. Once my guy hits 15, that means he can start declaring wars, so it's going to be about 5 years. So by the time that hits, this guy should already be well old enough before the claim wears off. So as far as I can see, it looks like we're not going to go for the institution I or admin ideas again. We're going to hold off on that. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead and do it. I don't care. So we'll put the claim on it, annex the weaker of my vassals, and then I'm not going to deal with them anymore. Because, I mean, for 2,000 men, it ain't worth keeping them. I mean, this guy's a one's province, and it's got more than them. Same thing with perm, i got to eventually absorb perm, too. So fabricate the claim, stop that. 
this done. Then, guess how long is this going to take? December of 1501. 136. In comparison, 64. They could have it done in October. Let's do this one then. This one will get done in October. I'd rather have it done anyway. I get it that it's not October of this month, or this year, it's going to be next year. So I'll just absorb them in the end, I don't care. Oh, probably because they got more development. Actually, no, these guys have more development. What's your manpower difference at? Yeah, it's about the same, it's surprised they don't have a bigger army. It's weird. So that'll get, that'll get rid of one of these guys and I don't have to care about it anymore. Making seven ducats, that's really good. I probably could increase the size of my armies, to be honest. Probably would make sense, too. Could go up to 20k stacks. Actually, yeah, let's do that real quick. So we'll do... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Alright. That'll give me 20k stacks. And the... I think the maintenance on it's not going to be that high. It's, it might take a, maybe between maybe a ducat, maybe a ducat and a half away from my fund, so it's not too bad. Yeah, maybe two. Yeah, it might be two. That's fine, though. We'll have the income back. And then I need you guys to start training again. Cause i got to get the army ready for anything. <laughs> eh, maybe they took a little bit more than that away. I don't know. Lost a fair bit of the money. Eh, I don't care. Ooh, mercantilism. And then it'll be done now. Oh, really? Not done yet? And it's getting close. Yep, to 100% next month. Yep, here we go. Get our prestige. I get the troops. I get to delete them. Oh, yeah. And hopefully that'll add a little bit of extra money my way. Okay, these guys are absorbed. Could just keep annexing. Eh, we'll save it. Question is, is where did that begin at? All the way down in Castile. Nice. It's going to be a while for that to spread to us. Unless we have trade with somebody, in which case it could get to us sooner. How much longer till my guy's old enough? Three years, not bad. I wonder if, I wonder if uh, when do you do you guys ever want to try to get support independence? Swedish opinion means they hate me. Mm. Could increase relations with them real quick and see if they want to have uh, independence. If I fight for independence for them, that kills the Danes. At the very least, it weakens them. And then I can throw 20k stacks their way and give Sweden the reinforcements it needs. And I gotta get rid of this Regency Council. I'm stuck with this for two freaking years. Not really much in income wise there. I gotta save up the money in case I have a cost or a financial problem kick in. Oh man. Alright, Sweden, you're starting to like us. Yes. Stop improving relations. Support their independence. Now improve relations. This will anger the uh, Danes pretty good. That makes me happy. Ooh, they're actually integrating Norway. That's not good for the. That's not good. Because that'll give them control in Norway, but if I have Sweden uh, supporting their independence, that means they won't be able to do it too quickly. It's 
an omen. Alright, we're fighting for Swedish independence, my friends. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and spend that into admin. There... Oh, wait. All their armies are over here. Oh, God. It's going to be a horror show. If they don't send their troops to, over to Denmark, to their main territory, they're going to lose all of this. This is going to be hilarious. Watch. Watch this. What tech level are you now? You're level 9. I'm level 8. You got a tech on me. How many cannons you got? Two. I have... Six. I just gotta wait for army maintenance to kick in. Yeah, run away, Danish. Yeah, now you fear me. You fear the Russian horde. It's coming for you. It wants blood. Yes, run away in fear. Know your place. Stay there, wait it out. Push across. Hit here. Oh, I thought you guys were done. Well, I'm helping them in my own way. If I take the fort, that's going to make them lose, they're going to suffer penalties from it. Alright, you guys are good. Go ahead and hit up through here. You guys are going to go in at, oh, at 225? Ooh, a 444. Four, four. Very nice, very nice. Damn it, he's too... Wait. Hmm. We could abdicate the throne to get him in. I'll just leave 120k stack down here getting the fort. Hopefully the fort collapses beforehand. Oh yeah, it's going to collapse. That way, if the Danes try to cross, it's a minus two penalty. And since this is... No, this doesn't have any additional modifiers in. That's good. Go ahead down here. You guys are going to go help the Swedes out some more. My armies, my other guys are actually should be pushing in by now. And I don't have any of you guys having on added to support. No, these guys should do it on their own. So good. My vassals are pushing in. They're going to go all out, start sieging down their lands. We'll secure this fort. We'll try to secure Lund next. Don't know where the Norwegian army's at, but it looks like it ran away. No, no, it's up in the north of Brunswick. <laughs> but again, they have to go through my forts to get anywhere, so I don't care. Uh, I guess we could do... This one makes the most sense. From a military standpoint, I think this is going rather well for us. Because my vassals are going in, they're hitting the Norwegians, I've taken some of their forts, recall the diplomat. Looks like we're going to beat them here, boys. Get them. Yeah, run across, go back to your little island. Yes, my army's powerful, you are weak. That's why we're keeping my troops there. I've done it before, I think everybody's seen the Poland campaign. They absorbed all the Baltic state, all these Baltic territories, they took all of it. This time around, they didn't take nearly as much, and that crossing penalty is killing them for it. So we'll see about ending this. That's over. Now my army can head back, and you guys can go back to Corellia to go help protect it, because I don't think they have enough troops there. At least from what I'm seeing, they got no cannons either, so my army beats them in an all-out fight. And I think if Denmark loses this fort down here, it's going to really hurt them. So supporting the independence of Sweden makes the most sense, because once the support of independence is done, it means then I can add them as an ally. If I have them as an ally, I can use them against the Danes. And if they ever accept vassalization, I can probably do that against them as well.
Whoever takes out the ankles wins. Oh god. Somebody's gonna die. Oh god, they're all dying. Oh god, it's a massacre. Get back here. Not to say you better not head to my territory. Beat the crap out of you for that. <laughs> Alright, so that army's gonna stay on standby. It's the best army I possibly could keep there. Um, how are we looking on this? Okay, so we're catching up to military tech pretty soon. We're gonna be pretty far behind on Diplo, though. But I'm not too concerned about it. Diplo doesn't really... I mean, Diplo has... Colonization, I guess, that could come in handy. But seeing as most of the land I'm going to be colonizing is literally right next to me, it don't matter. that attack Norway's fort I think also I might have delayed the personal no maybe not it says may yeah I don't know we might have delayed them being able to absorb Norway but I always notice that it seems like they either absorb Sweden or Norway but it's usually always Norway I'll live with that. That's a 6-5 one. That's actually really good. I mean, military-wise, I won't get much, but it means I might be able to get all the admin idea done. And it'll help me catch it back up on the, um... Diplotech. Still, I missed I miss the other one. He was good. He was really good. And that is the new military tech. That is very nice. Enables Pike Infantry. Now the question is, if I do this, are they going to attack my army? No. So they're idiots. So that was their chance. They probably could have beaten me there. Nope, they're going to lose it. It's a relatively big war. I'm surprised it hasn't gotten crazier than what it has. Is with Sweden and me engaging them all through here, it's pretty much just a hellhole for them. So I, I think this is to our advantage. I think we're doing really well for ourselves. Because I'm going to get the alliance with Sweden after this, and I'm going to use them against them. And I'd rather get the army tradition at this point. Army professionalism doesn't really matter. I got a little bit, I think. Eh, not nearly enough. Alright, keep the attacks going. We almost secured that for it. We secured that. It'll give us an advantage. Ah, crap. Oldenburg is their only holdout. I kept thinking that was Brunswick. Alright, we reached the Age of Reformation, so let's cut... Oh. Oh. So, Poland. How's that, how's that Protestantism doing for you there? As long as you stay away from me. I've actually done this before where they've actually spread east and they've actually converted some of my provinces to Protestant. Which I don't understand how it works because I can't theoretically switch to Protestantism. Or any of it, but yet my places can still switch to it. So it's like, I wish I could switch Protestant. Could you imagine a Protestant Muscovy or Russia? Oh my god, it'd be a juggernaut. So they limit me to Orthodoxy. Because I'd get all the military modifiers, I wouldn't give a damn about anything else. Oh, I'd, I would military murder. I'd mi militarily, I'd just destroy everything. I just don't know what they're going to do. I mean, independence should be guaranteed up to this point, because now we have that. I'm going to go ahead and get a new leader at 4111, not bad. They're sieging down the rest of that land. I'm going to siege just down. I mean, we can't get any further into Denmark itself. But because we own that little tip where Sweden connects to it at, I think that hurts Denmark enough that they can't do anything about it. Ooh, admin tech? Yes. And we're almost got enough for, for the level 7 Diplos. So that ain't bad. Alright, we secured it. Um, past that, I don't think there's really much else I can do besides just sit here and wait it out. 
Oldenburg accepted peace, that means that more than likely Norway and Denmark are, are going to accept it as well now. Because there are they're both um on low. Sweden's on low too, but they're much higher than theirs. Oh, I lost my good leader. I got a better leader. <laughs> much better leader, Ick, thank you. Okay, so wait. Let's do that, 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 that. So, following Denmark will grant independence to Sweden. Norway will cede Jutland and... Okay. 